Hello and welcome to Winging It. And once again, we're back here with another tournament game. This one is from the Elegant Sunbird Scuffle. And this time we have got a European expansion game. So we are playing back on those baseboards, no Oceania expansion in this one. So we're going to jump in. We're going second here. And we've got to adjust maybe a little bit back to the baseboards, but we'll see what we've got in our starting hand. First of all, definitely we'll take that, especially on the baseboard. So thank you very much. Raven, um, but not too much else. Not too much else, it's got to be said. So we'll take a look in the tray. Okay, we have got an Osprey. That could be quite good um, for me, but even if my opponent is going to give me a bit of food to help get the Raven down. So definitely don't mind that. Okay, Fishery Manager, maybe. Maybe the keep here uh, on the bonus cards. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably go with that, given that we don't have any bird counter birds. But hmm. What else do we do? <laughs> what else do we go with? Um, got lots of food, uh, or duplicated food birds, which on Oceania are pretty good at the start, with that starting nectar um, here, just on the baseboards, and no nectar, maybe not quite so good, but yeah, we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need something, maybe play some of these. Um, I think Bell's Rio could be quite good with uh, that star nest, gonna help for a couple of end rounds. But yeah, otherwise, I think we might just have to hope that we can get our hands on that Osprey um, and go from there. So maybe we keep something like that. Um, pick up and play the Osprey. Lay eggs, start drawing cards. It's all going to be about that Raven in round two. So, you know, we'll see what we can find. Draw it from the deck. Um, but yeah, we're just going to hope we get that because uh, don't really want to rely on this Blue Gross Beak um, as an early game bird. Not exactly what I'm looking for, so... Uh, maybe keep the Cuckoo. Sort of does tempt me, but... I don't know. I think that's going to cost a lot of food that I'm going to have to keep at the start. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't be able to get it down that soon either. I'd rather dig and see what I can find from the deck, so... I think we'll lock that in. And yeah, really, really, really need that Osprey. I mean, they have got a fish, so... There is every chance they pick it up. Um, but yeah, as long as... As I say, I can get something in that wetlands. Start drawing cards. We can get this Raven down round two and have a grand old time. So they have not picked up Osprey. They played Squacko Heron. And actually, this is a good time for me to take Osprey because it's the only bird um, that Squacko Heron can take. So we'll pick that up and reveal a Monsky's Harrier. Do not mind revealing that one bit. Um, so that's good. That's going to help. I mean, it's good synergy, to be fair, Osprey and uh, Fishery Manager, because it's getting you the fish to play those Fishery Manager birds. So, um, yeah, we do, of course, have the Raven as well, but we'll see what we can find. Hopefully, as I say, maybe another wetland bird, maybe to get more card draw going, but I'm looking grass and birds here. You know, this is very much get back into that uh, baseboard mindset. You know, we're looking for tucking birds. We're looking for something to go with a grass's engine. So that's going to be top of the priority list. Just keeping an eye on that hooded crow, so um, yeah, don't think my opponent will be going to pick it up. They might suspect. This is definitely a, a bit of the mind games where you see a rat kept and you know, no forest bird played. At what point do you think that a raven is incoming? Um, but yeah, they're not going to know um, until it's too late, I think. So they are picking that up, though, so that's definitely interesting. Oh, I suppose, actually, it's not that interesting. It's because it's the, it's the Squacker Harris there to pick it up. So uh, we're going to draw cards, though. Nothing interesting there. There we go. Dipper. Excellent. We'll take that with the fish as well. So very nice. So now we play that, and I think we just keep drawing. Keep drawing cards. Um, that's going to help get more cards. That's going to help get uh, yeah, the food for this raven. So... Don't mind that. Opponent take a poo. See what they go with. We'll play our dipper. And uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it is just going to be draw cards three times. I mean, we're going to see a lot of cards. Dipper is such a good bird early on with that tray reset. Um, just see more cards. Give yourself more options. And yeah, hopefully, I'm 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 praying that a nice tuck and draw bird will show up, and uh, I can just have a very very smooth game in the grasslands with that raven but we will see and we'll see a little bit what my opponent's going to do as well um, I think they might have picked up I think there was a double bird there so they might be might be going to try and do some kind of double play 
in the forest. No, they've got a red star, so that's definitely going to be good for them. But we're going to draw a card, so we're just going to get all the fishery manager birds. So, dip a reset. I'll take a golden eagle. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty nice. And yeah, we'll give it a fish. So, um, This could be a good one to get down later. Are going to need... Uh, yeah, maybe some more, as I say, fishery managed birds. And if my opponent goes grasslands, we could um, definitely benefit there. But Golden Eagle's nice. Yeah, just need uh, big point birds, big point engine birds. Definitely what I'm looking for. So we'll keep drawing. And there we go. Barn Swallow, thank you very much. And Woodstalk, thank you very much. Even Bush Tit's nice here, but I think I've got to take Woodstalk. Especially, as I say, with, uh, with fishery manager. So... Um, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're set here. We draw once more. We play the Raven. Um, we play the Barnstall. We play the Gold Eagle. We legs for the rest of the game, and we play lots of big point birds. So always nice to uh, yeah get in that position early on like this. So Snowy Egret going down. They're definitely you know making good use of all the fish that I'm giving. Uh, but okay, we draw. Do we take this bush tip? Do we take this bush tip? I think this might be a good option, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to. I don't want to lose the cards to the to the tuck and lay. I'd rather, uh, yeah, I'd rather cycle them with the swallow. But I think I will pick it up just in case, because you never know. Maybe a Franklin's girl or something, you know, wants to show up at some point in this game. But um, Thekla Slark has decided to show up, which could be interesting. But I think we'll go for Superior Lark here. And we'll give out a fish. Because even with Raven, that might come in handy. Just for getting yeah, these uh, these other birds down a little bit more quickly. So there we go, it's a tie on the end of round. Which I don't mind too much, considering I only play two birds and it is time. It is time to get the Raven down. So yeah, as I say, it should be quite plain sailing. Um, we're going to need to play a forest bird, so I think probably... Probably it'll be Bell's Vario, maybe the Turtle Dove, um, but I do want to get this down for those other end of round goals as well, anyway. Uh, but yeah, Bonswallow will want to go down pretty quickly as well. So let's start laying eggs. Start picking up some worms for all these lovely birds we're going to play. The opponent, they're picking up lots of food, so they have been, as I say, Picking up this fish that I've been giving them. They're probably not going to see much more of that. Got to be said with this raven. Um, but Polluted Woodpecker, okay. That could be interesting. They have only got one cavity nest. Um, but that's definitely going to help them. Uh, in terms of getting some eggs going. So maybe this golden eye. Uh, it's not going to It's not going to be a factor in this game. But um, yeah, we do. As I say, we've got some other good manager option so I think we should be fine maxing that one out but yeah I think honestly now with the with the swallow down I think we just focus on that so um, I don't think we really need to need to go drawing cards again um, I think we just lay eggs and play birds so and um, Dunnock has showed up I think I probably want to block that actually let's not lay eggs on the cavity nest um yeah, I think I do want to block that. So, ooh, yeah, probably Horned Lark. We'll go. And yeah, I think... I think I want to go Worm Rat. I'll get the Eagle down. But I do want to get this Bell's Rear down as well, so... I think that works. White Throat would be quite nice for them as well. If they want to go pick that up. Uh, but yeah, we'll do to Eagle, maybe. Just trying to think what the fourth grass and bird would be. Maybe it's something like Bustard, if I don't find anything better. Maybe Painted Bunting, to be fair, as well. Could just play uh, just play one of these bonus card birds. But um, yeah, do I do think I need to get to, uh, yeah get this Bell's Brio down. For the center round, so I can at least get something there. So let's do that now, actually. Let's do that now. See what the bonus card's going to be. Hmm. Well, neither of those are great options. It's got to be said. Um, 
maybe we just go Prairie Manager and do Busted and, and Bunting. I think that makes more sense than trying to hit Forrester when I haven't got any. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a shame. Hope for better, but... Um, yeah, we do at least have stuff that works there. And this might just be a game where we do go for the bonus card, so um, certainly, as I say, with uh, with some of these other options will be good for us. But Hooded Crow goes down, so yeah, that, that's their um, counter, at least at the moment. Two hourglasses, but we'll get rid of the Dunnock. I think we'll block the White Throat. And yeah, we'll take... Uh, a couple more rats. I mean, I'm sort of, I don't know, I'm sort of imagining that they will play another forest bird. Um, yeah, I think I do want to focus on getting the uh, pro chicken. Would be nice. Um, I do want to focus on getting the eagle down. So we'll do that, and then in uh, in the next round, I think maybe something like painted bunting, maybe for that end of round goal. I think we could probably win that. And uh, yeah, see what else. I mean, maybe we don't need the busted. Maybe something else comes up. Uh, but certainly. Yeah, going for more bonus cards. We could find something like Rodentologist. Um, I'd be pretty happy indeed. So, okay, they have drawn. Now Cowbird's come up, but... Um, I think I'm going to leave that. I think I'm going to leave that. It's at, the, it's at the point of the game where... I don't think that will make too much difference. Uh, in terms of their eggs. And in terms of points either, so... Um, yeah, we'll play play the eagle in the interest of, of getting these big point birds down and getting these engine birds down. So 37 points. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. And yeah, probably next I would say painted bunting. And then we can start thinking about Yeah, something like Woodstalk. Uh maybe as uh as the next play and then find find the other fishery manager bird that we want to play. So there we go, they did play another forest bird, so I'm glad I did get baited into that. And we come here into the next round, and a very nice looking whooping crane indeed. So I'd have to imagine they take that, but um, they have already got quite a few cards, and they probably want to start gaining food and playing stuff, so we'll see. No, they are drawing. I think that makes sense. Because that is a very good one that you want to block, so. And we'll lay eggs, we want to get them in the cup nests, so we'll do that. And yeah. I think we just go off the top, so um, Inca Dove actually might not be too bad here um, as an option for the Prairie Manager. Because we have already got one, two, three, four, five. This would be six. This would be seven. And this could potentially be eight <laughs> platform nesting birds, so um, that would be a lot of points, but equally busted. We could gamble on the bonus card. We'll see. Um, this might help with that final end round, but as I say, I think we're I think we're looking strong on these end rounds where we can just lay eggs wherever we want. That is definitely gonna help. So take our free egg. And lay eggs again. So Golden Eagle's gonna keep hitting. I think. Yeah, I think this I think this golden eye can go in all honesty. Don't think they're really gonna be laying eggs too much. And yeah, we'll take a seed. I think we need lots of seeds, so we'll take two seeds. And yeah. Get the bunting down. And as I say, think about think about what else we want to do, but it might be it might be Woodstalk, Turtle Dove, and Inca Dove. And that might be all the birds I play. But it depends a bit what comes up. So double play, okay, yeah, they have gone for the cow bird, that makes sense. They picked up with the crow. Um, like I say, it, it will be good. I don't think it's going to be amazing for them. Um, I think they should be fine for eggs with the Polite Woodpecker. This will give a bit of support, but... Um, yeah, I'm not overly worried by that. But we'll play a Painted Bunting, so hopefully get a good bonus card here. Ethologist is definitely a good bonus card, so we'll take that four points. Don't think we'll get more than that, considering we're probably just going to be playing White and No Power Birds, but... Hey, I'll take four points off that. Um, certainly compared to Prairie Manager, which, yeah, it's not quite as good and it's definitely going to be more work here, so. Um, okay, we'll get a, another free egg coming through. Don't mind that. Yeah, we'll just keep laying eggs. Keep laying eggs. 
That would have been nice as the final prairie manager for her. It's a bit of a shame. Um, but Goldfinch, are they doing any tucking? Not specially. So I don't think that's going to do um, too much for me. But yeah, we'll do... I think we'll do that. And then I think we can think about... Yeah. Maybe Woodstalk. Sort of hoping and, you know, imagining that maybe a... Maybe a great blue heron or a, or a nice great egret comes up. I can double play into that and, and hit the well and scientist. So definitely an option. Bard are going down. So look, they got a good forest. They're building this out. This would look great on a on an Oceania board. Maybe not quite so good on the baseboards, but lots of food, lots of birds to play. See how that plays out. But yeah, I think. Uh, do we want to do turtle dove? I think we do want to do turtle dove. We'll gamble on another bonus card. Behaviorist, not what you want to see. And yeah, we'll take the egg, so... Hmm. Definitely struggling a bit on some of these bonus cards. Um, definitely struggling for sure, so... We'll hope for better off the Woodstalk, but... Yeah, like I say, it might just be... Would it be... Eggs, Woodstalk, Eggs, Dove, and then maybe just Eggs the rest of the game. Depends a bit what comes up, but... Um, I think we are in a good position to just do that, and it's safe. It's, you know, pretty much certain points. We might have to worry about a bit of egg space, especially with these eggs that keep going through, but we'll uh, we'll assess how that's going um, in the final round. So I think, yeah, but I don't think you're going to come into play. You're a nice option, um, so we'll definitely be looking at you. And yeah, do we do... We'll do Seed Worm. I think that keeps it open. That keeps it open. So, okay. They're going to get some more Hooded Crow Tucks. Four. They do have four cards. Have they got four cards that they're willing to get rid of? Is the question, though. We do win the end of round, which is nice. And I think, as I said, we're going to win that last one. So, looking good. Come here into the final round. Yeah, they did do their Tucks. And okay, 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 okay. If Honey Buzzard helped for, for Orthologist as well, I'd be more tempted, but. Um, yeah, maybe with. Maybe with. Um, the Goldfinch, but I don't think that's going to get played. So. Hmm. I can lay eggs here. And then to the Hail Mary on, you know, one one last chance of finding a double play. But otherwise, I think uh, it's probably going to be Woodstalk Skimmer, Inca Dove. I think I can afford to do all of those, so. Um, let's lay eggs. And see what comes up. So I think we can get rid of... I think we can get rid of this. And okay, you're not what I was looking for. So now we need to be careful and take the right food. Um, yeah, so we'll want... Uh, we'll want more fish for this, definitely. Um, but we'll also want more seeds. I think we'll do one of each. Because I could do Woodstalk. Then I can do Inca Dove. I think that's okay. Uh, actually, maybe I might need to play... I might need to play the... Uh, the skimmer first just to clear out the space so um we'll see we'll see this this blue and bobbler would also be a nice play i, I kind of wish i could get this down but yeah i think inca dove um i think that just has to go down with prairie manager so um we'll do that so yeah i think we'll do do woodstock first and go from there but yeah, do you kind of need another good bonus card because we will at least get some points off there. That's going to help. Bold Eagle would have liked that. Um, looks like they did get some fish from that as well. Let's play this Woodstalk. Um, use a Worm. What are we going to find? Okay, that's better. On the four. Definitely like to see that. So now Honey Buzzard sort of works. <laughs> uh, would that be an eight point play with the Omnivore, with the Behaviorist? Um, skimmer. Well, I suppose 
maybe it's a nine point play even if you get another egg off it, but I think egg space is going to be difficult for sure. So yeah, if I played, uh, yeah, if I played, um, if I played Inca Dove now, I would miss out on some eggs. So, but me, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to miss out anyway. This is tricky. Um, because yeah, if I play, so I'd lay eggs, play. I do kind of need to play the skimmer. Maybe I just play the skimmer now, just overpay for it and get the two seeds back. Um, uh, does that work? Play skimmer. I clear an egg off. Raven and Osprey. I have Turtle Dove and Eagle to worry about. I think that does work. Because, yeah, the, the Inca Dove, if I can max it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. Yeah, it's an 11 point play with Prairie Manager. I don't think Honey Buzzer comes close to that. So, even if I missed a couple of eggs, I think it is still better to go for that. So. Um, yeah, I think, as odd as this seems, I think forcing down the skimmer here is uh, is the play. Um, and then, yeah. Play eggs and play the dove. Simple as. So we've got our points there. We're going to get some points here. Yeah, a bit of a shame on behaviorist, but at least the other two have hit. So they are laying eggs now. Um, oh, I suppose that would be for the center round, so... I don't think they can catch. One, two, three... Well, maybe they think they can, but... They can't. So I think we should be okay. Golden Eagle, please hit. Nope. Gonna go for the other... Raven. Which I didn't want to see. And that will take our two seeds, so... Yeah, when we play... When we play the Ica Dove, we clear off the Turtle Dove, we clear off the Raven. That gives us one egg space on each of them, so... Um, I can't imagine them taking food again with all this food uh, and all these birds. They probably want to start playing stuff, so I don't think... Yeah, I don't think missing out on a... on a Polita Whipper Egg is going to be too big of a thing to worry about. Oh, of course, Whipping Cray, they did pick up earlier, so... Look, they're going for bonus cards now. I'm glad I found Omni and not them, but... Yeah, there might still be something good out there for them. Uh, but for us, we're just going to play a Secret Dove, so... Clear off the Dove, clear off the Raven... And there we go. Take our eight eggs, so pretty nice. Pretty nice Inca Dove play. Don't often see that, but 11 points with the bonus card. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And yeah, they'll get a couple of... A couple more Crow Tucks. I'm assuming they're going to play another bird. Maybe they'll just lay eggs, but... Um, that's worked out pretty well for them, so... Yeah, like I say, could have blocked that earlier. Maybe could have, could have, would have, should have. Um, but what's done is done. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully it's not going to impact on the score. So they're gonna play fish crow. Definitely glad they don't have Omni, <laughs> um, and they don't have fishy manager either. So maybe there's something else that that's gonna hit. But we do win that end of our goal pretty convincingly thanks to Inca Dove. We're going to go into the score, so I honestly don't know. I know we're going to score well, but my opponent has a lot of birds down, and they got some bonus cards as well, so if they're good, we could be in trouble here. So they are on a bit of a lead here on these bonus cards. We do catch up a little bit, though, so that is definitely nice. End of round goals. We edged that slightly. Eggs, I think we did have quite a lot. Yeah, just through the grasslands and through that egg dove, so we are in a very strong position. So even with a few tuck cards at the end, it is enough for us to hold on. 120 points to 95, so... Yeah, strong score, but that's the power of Raven and Barn Swallow. Um, old habits die hard, I guess, on these baseboards. Um, such a strong, potent combo. And yeah, even maybe with slight mishaps on some of these bonus cards, um, it was still strong enough uh, to be able to win this game. So um, we'll take a quick look over at my opponent's board. What do they have? Falconer, not bad pickup. Large bird. Bird Panda, only two on that. That's definitely a bit of a shame, but... Yeah, not too bad overall. And yeah, came together nicely. Like I said, that Hooded Crow, that was pretty good. Um, that definitely did the business for them. And some big point plays at the end through the Eagle and the Crane. But there we go. Pretty solid ball for me. Pretty solid game. Quite happy with that. And it is another win on the board. So 
there we go hopefully you enjoyed watching that one a little bit different getting the oceania content out of the way and getting some european expansion stuff in here so let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing more of these european expansion games i will definitely try and get more featured throughout this tournament but until then thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you again very very soon